Well, you know, folks, you're gonna recognize my next guest from a half dozen TV shows. Everything from trading spaces to million dollar rooms to celebrity motorhomes. You also might recognize him as one of People Magazine's sexiest men alive. His newest endeavor doesn't focus on individual homes, though, but building communities. Please welcome Carter Osterhaus. <laughs> What's up, Carter? How you doing? How you feeling, man? Oh, you Pleasure, doing? man. Thank Pleasure. You so much. How you Grab doing? a seat, yeah. Looking good. No, 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 oh, no, no, you looking good, yeah. Like those shoes. Yeah. Nice. Like your stomach. <laughs> How you been, man? I've been good. I've been good. That's good, Thanks for man. having me. Carpentry is what you're known for. It's yeah. what made you a star. But how'd you get into it? So I grew up in Michigan and uh, in a town where building was something everybody did in the summertime just for a job, you know, huh. just to make some money. Studied nutrition college, moved out to Los Angeles with a nutrition job. Didn't take it. Worked in the production like yeah. everybody else does. But there I was like, you can fix stuff around the office, right? And uh, I was like, yeah, I've been building since I was 12 years old. And uh, they're like, well, there's this show called Trade and Spaces. You want to try out for it? And then like that, that's how I got on the show. I was literally in the right place at the right time when I got onto a TV show just because I'd been building, you know, yeah. and working at home just to, just to make a buck. Yeah. Unbelievable. Never would have thought it would happen in a million yeah. years. Now, carpentry is not your only passion, man. Yeah. You, this guy has a huge philanthropic side, folks. Tell us a little bit about Carter's Kids. So Carter's Kids is a nonprofit that I started in 2007, where we build playgrounds all over the US. They're full on humongous playgrounds for schools, boys and girls clubs, whatever it may be. And uh, we do one a month all over the US. And the whole idea is for communities to really thrive mm -hmm. in these areas. And the main reason was to fight childhood obesity, but we're realizing that there's so many other things that can happen when the right. playground is there, whether it's with the community, whether it's with the kids, whether it's the psychological development with kids. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more that's going on than we realize. And to date, I think, um, like I said, we do one a month and we've done over 40 playgrounds. Wow. Yeah. That's good, man. Congratulations. Thank you. I like that. It's fun. It's oh, fun. it's big. Yeah. So uh, recently what we did, folks, we teamed up with Carter's kids to surprise this one mom who was looking to keep her son's memory alive in a meaningful way. I want you to meet Vicky. I'm Vicki Check. I'm a Grand Haven resident and a mother of three. I guess when I think about my son Andy, I think caring person, funny. He was um, the baby of the family and he was basically my sidekick. You know, everywhere I went, he was there with me and he was my rock. And then one day, Andy was gone. September 3rd, 2003, that was the last day I saw Andy. I came home and found a note on my front door from the police. I knew it wouldn't be good. It was warm out that day. I mean, it was uh, like 72 degrees. It was um, beautiful. And Andy and a friend went to uh, Lake Michigan and um, they actually were um, having a ball, body surfing and, and jumping up and down in the waves but the wind was, was picking up and the waves were picking up and they were probably five feet. It started knocking their legs out from under him, so his friend said, I'm going back. Andy started yelling for him and says, I can't, I can't get back. And he was swimming his heart out and um, he went under and then... <sighs> well, soon after the Coast Guard boats arrived and then the helicopter came in, I hear that helicopter going over and over my head. Rescuers formed a human chain, but it started getting uh, too rough for them, and they had to stop searching. Uh, I, we slept on the sand that night. I wasn't going to leave him down there. Andy didn't make it. I miss him terribly. Well, uh, Vicky's with us now. So, uh, Vicky, how'd you pick yourself up after this tragedy? Well, I was paralyzed in the beginning. I mean, it was very difficult. Um, once I was able to read the articles in the paper that had been written about what happened with Andy, I was just shocked to find out that there were rip currents uh, in the Great Lakes, and that's what had taken my son's life. And 
that's um, when I realized that um, I needed to do something to create awareness and uh, we formed the Great Lakes Beach and Peer Safety Task Force. Tell me about that task force. What is, what is that exactly? Um, we got key people in our community together and um, once we did that, we um, created an educational DVD and it told about um, rip currents and um, the um, different things in the lake that you have to be concerned about. And then we also do uh, what we call the Beach Survival Challenge. We're very proud of that. Um, my family and I um, run that every year and there's over a thousand people attend that um, in Grand Haven State Park. And it's um, an event where we teach kids about getting out of rip currents and kind of give them the message that um, the rip currents will pull you out. And if it pulls you out, that it will release you at some point and you'll be able to uh, swim parallel to the shore and be able to get in at that point. You know, when we heard about Vicki's uh, mission, we got with Carter to do something that Vicki never saw coming. You're gonna find out what that is when we come back. Stay with us, folks. Coming up next, she tragically lost her son and devoted her life to saving others. I've always said if, if one life was saved, it would be worth all of this. Today, this deserving woman gets an emotional surprise. Oh my goodness, on, my right family's here too. Say hi to Vicki. Hi. And later, Steve is revealing what men really think is sexy. The little bow makes it look like a present. <laughs> Back everybody with uh, HGTV's Carter Osterhouse, and as well as Mom Turn Crusader Vicky. Thank you for coming. Really appreciate your strength here with helping us yeah. tell this story. Uh, Vicky's son uh, tragically uh, passed after being swept into a rip current ten years ago. Well, ever since that day, she's made it her mission to educate other kids about water safety. So, Vicky, how effective has your work been? Um, I believe it's been very effective. I have parents that come to me. Um, all the time to thank me and they're grateful that we get the education to their kids about rip currents. Um, we've got life rings on all the piers. There, there were no life rings the day my son drowned and so his friend was not able to get a life ring to him. Uh, recently a, a kid that told me um, um, he had saved someone out of a rip current by what he had learned from our beach survival challenge. And you know, I've always said if, if one life was saved it would be worth all of this. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, Vicky's passion is truly remarkable. We wanted to do something to further her cause, so we joined up with Carter to surprise her with the playground in her son's memory. Lake Michigan Credit Union, how are you? Oh. <laughs> I know it's so cold right now, and I thank you guys all for being here. My name's Carter Osterhouse. I started Carter's Kids, which is a nonprofit where we build playgrounds all over the US. We've never done one when it's this cold. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You're not only helping a ton of kids in the future, but also you're doing something for a very, very special person in this community. Try to stay warm and uh, let's go do it. All right? Um, let's try that one. A and B and then nine and C. Group two, how we doing? Bray, how you doing? Woo! Great. We got one bolted. Only 562 more. Okay, so let's go back and we'll go around on the concrete pad. One, two, three. Just like that. So right now we're about halfway through, but it's looking really good and it's all coming together. You need another hand? Up a little? Right there. A bit like this. Rounded. It's been extremely cold today, which is crazy. We can't feel our nose, our fingers, our toes. <laughs> All we have left is to pour the concrete into the holes. There we go. All right. Now the playground is officially finished. Who's yes. ready to play yes. on the playground? Yes. We're waiting for Vicky to arrive. I don't think she has any idea. But I was just talking to her last night and she was saying she was coming down here for an interview and she didn't know anything about it. <laughs> which she has no idea, which is gonna be pretty special when she gets out of the car and you know the surprise on her face is gonna be pretty fun. I don't know what's complete over here. We're gonna start 
that up. Here she comes. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm Carter Osterhouse. I know who you are. <laughs> oh, you're very sweet. You're probably wondering what is going on right now. You have no idea. I don't. Um, but I'm going to tell you just a little bit and just let you know that everybody here is here for you. Oh my goodness, on, my right family's up. here too. <laughs> Say hi to Vicki. Hi. Hi, everybody. I have my nonprofit, which is Carter's Kids. So we build playgrounds all over the place. But today, we get to build one in my home state. The story and the life you've lived is overwhelming. And the fact that you were able to turn it into such an inspiration, you are an inspiration to this community for all the work that you do. Thank you. You know, not only are we here to honor you, but we built this playground in honor of your son's name. Thank you. It's wonderful. I am overwhelmed. I just can't believe it. It's very cool to have a beautiful playground like this in Andy's memory, and all these people are here to honor me. The mayor. This is such a great thing. This right here is a legacy. We're so proud to help fund this beautiful playground. You want to play in the playground? Let me show you one more thing. Okay. Right here. Oh, that's wonderful. It is very touching and emotional. And there's one person that's not here, which is Andy. So that makes it a little bit harder, but I'm honored. Oh. Oh. I'm never gonna forget you. <laughs> It's huge. I mean, it's just such a big deal, and it's important to, to all of us to have his memory go on. How did you feel after you realized what we were up to? I was just totally shocked and had no clue what was going on. It was just wonderful. And to see my son's name all over, yeah. you know, the play equipment is just wonderful and touching. I know his memory will go on. And, um, when I saw my family, I just uh, totally lost it. It was just very, very special. Thank you. Yeah. Carter, what's the best part of doing these types of bills? Obviously, you know, to do something like we did with Vicki, it, it was uh, fantastic because it's what she does. She's a pillar in her community. She works with the community. She thrives with the community. And what we get to do is build a playground where it's all about community. And, and we get to do it in honor of her son's name. But it's also that youthful energy at a playground. It's that common denominator. It brings everybody back to when they were kids about just putting everything else to the yeah. side and just playing. Yeah. Vicky, let me ask you, as, as a mom, what, what do you think your son Andy would make of all this? He would be so excited and he would think this is the coolest thing ever. You know, I really feel like he was part of that day. I mean, the weather that these guys had um, the day before was you know, so cold and big waves, and um, that day was sunny and bright, and I just feel like Andy was there with us. I mean, you know, in, in situations like this, for those of us who have not lost a child, I mean, what, what can we say? You know, that's really, I know there's nothing I could say. I have no idea what that feeling is like, uh, you know, but I, I, hope, I hope you find comfort in knowing that the work you're doing on his behalf is changing lives, is saving lives, which, which makes his life have such an imprint. It helps greatly. Yeah, but you know, just, just keep your head up and, and, and know this. And, and we wanted to do so, uh, one other thing to honor you too, because it's people like you to make this whole world really come together and tick. And so today we wanted to honor you as one of Harvey's heroes, Vicki, and we wanted you to know Aww. that you are a hero, darling. You are so much. Yeah, you really are. Let me come around here. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. Oh, thank you. And Carter, great job, my yeah, friend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anytime, anytime. I want to say a special thanks to Carter's kids and Lake Michigan Credit Union for making it happen. And Vicki, you're a true Harvey's hero. Thank you, darling. Hey, we'll be right back, folks. Coming up next, look sexy anytime with items you already own. When you open the door, when he come in from work, that ain't the only thing he gonna want to open.
Steve exposes the steamy ways to get your man's attention. Get the babies out the room, because this for grown folks only. And later, remarkable age-defying makeovers with five simple tools. Well, Tony, no more senior citizen discounts for you. 